come celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with me before it ends. Let's go. This tastes good. Like and follow for more Atlanta Eats. I'm gonna try every single taco here today. You guys, it's kind of cute inside. Where you can dine in, do takeout, or you can even do drive through This is a self-serving salsa bar. I have no idea how to properly eat this. Someone comment below and teach me. About $2.50 a taco. Not terrible in today's economy. All right, let's check out the goods. We got one taco each for all the meats. And this is the, the molita, which is like a quesadilla, like a smaller quesadilla. Let's try the molita first. We got the tongue in this. Mmm. Cheesy. Tortilla is a little crunchy. The vegetable gives it a little crunch. You have to eat it here. It's much better hot. Now it's time for the tacos. Can I tell what's what? Will be a challenge. I know the beef tongue. So I'll eat that first, but I know it's good. Let's go in. Very tender, and the onion's really crunchy. Next, let's go for the pollo, because it's easy to tell. And not bad. Not as flavorful as the beef tongue. Here goes the chorizo. Mmm, it has a kick. This, I think, would be the minced chicken one. It's a bit more seasoned than the other chicken. On to the more difficulty beef ones. Pretty sure this is a steak one, the asada. Definitely well seasoned, and the meat is a little chewy, or kind of on the harder side. I have what I think is the spicy beef. The meat is a lot more tender than the steak, and it has a little bit of an after kick, but not as spicy as the chorizo. Here's what I think is the barbacoa or barbecue beef. Mmm, yummy. This tastes good. The meat is tender and is well seasoned. Here we have the El Pastor or pork. Mm. That's pretty good. But a little different than the past El Pastor tacos I've had. Tastes a little different. All right, that concludes our taste test. I'm gonna eat the rest off camera. Thanks for watching. Adios.